Yo, what is going on people? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make custom billboards for your server. Now it's pretty simple and we're going to be using the object builder method. If this did help you out, please do leave a like and a subscription. If you do get stuck and need any help, make sure to leave a comment down below or join my Discord server and I'll see you in a second when we jump in and make sure to follow my Twitch, please. So first layer, if you don't already have Daisy Tools installed, you do want to head over to Steam. And where it says Games, you want to click this drop down box here and Enable Tools. Now you want to find Daisy Tools. Click on it and here should be a blue button saying Install. If it doesn't say Install and it says Launch, well then you've already got it installed so that's one good thing already. Now, if you don't already have a P drive, what you need to do is you need to go to Tools, Extract Game Data. And then, when this comes up, you're going to click Yes. Now, if you've already got a game data extracted, but your P drive does not show up, what you do is head over to Tools, Mount P drive, and then it'll come up with a message and you want to click Yes. And then, you can close your Steam down, head over to the folder, go to the P drive, and your P drive should have a few folders in it. Now I'm going to give you guys a link in the description to click on that link, go ahead and download it from Mediafire. Now once you've got the file, what you want to do is you want to drag from the zip file into the P drive. Now if you don't know how to open a zip, you can download WinRAR and then you'll be able to double click the file and then just get the folder and drag it in here. Then you should see ML underscore billboard new. Now when we go in here, we're going to have this. It's called a P3D. And then when we go in data, we're going to have some textures here. Now what you want to do is you want to now head over to Daisy Tools. Open text view. You want to get the PAA here. And you want to drag and drop it into the text view. Now as you can see... This is a plain image already set up here. You want to go to save as and then you want to change the PAA to PNG. Now once you've set it to PNG you can edit it in GIMP, Paint, Photoshop or any other devices that you use to edit images. So now you want to head over to Photoshop and open up this PNG. So now that Photoshop is open or whatever tool you're using we're going to go and find the image. So you want to go to this PC P, search in M, and then it says ML underscore billboard new. Go in there, go into data, and open up banner.png. Now, I've got this image here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file, place, and I'm going to place an image onto this billboard, an image of any choice. It doesn't matter what image you use, you can use whatever you'd like. So I'm going to go into here, I'm going to go to 3D wallpapers, and I'm going to select this one here I'm gonna enlarge it that way and this way make it fill the screen and then I'm gonna go ahead and also place my logo on this so I'm gonna to go to pictures YouTube and in here somewhere of the many thumbnails that I do have I'm going to find my logo there we go my logo is there I'm gonna delete the edges so I'm gonna click magic wand Delete, 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 and I'm also going to give it a nice shadow. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not going to be the best image ever, but it's just for testing purposes. So, I'm going to make it like that. There we go. Make it, there we go. Looks a bit better now. Okay, file, save as, and we're going to save it as a PNG. Save, okay, okay. Now we can close Photoshop down. No. Head back over now to your P drive. Search in M. And we're going to find ML Billboard underscore new. Go to data and open up banner.paa. And how you do that, again, is open up text view on Daisy Tools. And get the image drag it into there and as you can see the old image is here file open banner.png and now we have the new image 
Now, yes, you can see why it's up at the top and at the sides, but I'm not doing it for a server, so it does not matter. I'm going to go to File, Save As, and where the N and the G is, this time we want to make it an A, A. Save that. Yes. And now we can delete the PNG. So we're going to close that down, delete the PNG, and there we go. Voila, we're done. So this time we're going to head over to a tool called Object Builder in Daisy Tools. And I want you guys to open up Object Builder. And if you've never used Object Builder before, I want you to go to Window and enable all of these that I have enabled on my screen. So Status Bar, Main Toolbar, View Control Bar, Edit Toolbar, Extrude Segments, Current Position, LODs, Mass, Resource library, named properties, name selections, selection operators, and texture library. Now once you've got that, your layout may not be the same as mine, but you will definitely have all of these different selections open. I want you now to head over to this tool here, and it says it use direct 3D. Now I want you to enable that. Basically, it makes it so when you're moving around in the camera, it's not too laggy. Now I do have an object builder series, so if you do want to check that out, I will have a card and an end screen at the end with the series. But we're doing something really simple today, and we're just going to go to File, Open, and we want to open up the P3D. So we'll go to your P drive, press M again, ML billboard underscore new open up this and as you can see we have now a billboard now it should automatically highlight everything for you if it does not do that and you get something like this i want you to just press ctrl a now we need to give this segment here an actual texture so i want you guys to press e and as you can see here it gives you many texture paths but we're only going to be editing the top two so click the first one and then hold ctrl and click the next one. Now we're going to keep the RV mat, the material, the same. But this time we're going to, where it says texture, we're going to click the folder icon here. And we are going to select our new texture. So, PAA, your texture may not be called banner. It might be called something else. But we just want to select that. And remember, you must always remove the P. Because if you don't remove the P and this goes on a server and someone doesn't have a P drive and someone doesn't have this file extracted like this, the texture will not work. So we're going to delete the P and we're going to click OK. We're going to click Save. Now you can do as many as these as you like. So if you want to do another image, you could save as where it says 1 here. You can type number 2. Click Save on that. Press E again. Click control on these first two images. Data. And you could select another image. Now this is not to the billboards path. But you could do something like this. Select another image. Click OK. And then click save. And voila. We now have two billboards. But if you're just having one billboard. That's what's going to be provided in this tutorial. Then it should just look like I've got on screen right now. And if we go into the config.cpp, as you can see here, we've only got one path to the model. Now, for you guys that are going to be making more than one billboard model, I want you to copy from this at the bottom all the way up to the class here. And then underneath that, I want you to paste it there. Now you need to make sure that this has land underscore, whatever your class name you want it to be. So you could call this um, PogChamp and it doesn't matter as long as it's land underscore. Now you need to make sure to keep it as house no destruct because this is going to be a static object and we don't want people to be like picking it up in the inventory like inventory base would do. And if you are making some custom billboards and for some reason you don't want ML to be there, then you can obviously change this and this doesn't matter. Now let's open add-on builder up. And if you've never touched add-on builder before, it will not look like mine on screen. 
you want to head over to options here and where it says lists of files to copy directly I'm gonna have some code in the description for you guys to paste into here now as you can see I've already got the code in this is what you're gonna be pasting in here yours will be much smaller it'll be like this so path to private key file we don't need that because we're not gonna be signing through object builder path to temp folder this is my temp folder it should automatically do this for you and path to project folder you want to select your p drive so how you would do that is you would click these three dots here and then select local disk p okay now you can leave these how they are down here and then click ok again this time we're going to have clear temple temp folder we're going to have binarize on and enable extended login we're going to click these three dots up here and make sure to select the correct folder so ml underscore billboard new click ok and then we need to select an output folder now if you guys have never made an output folder before you want to head over to your daisy root so your, yours might be steam steam apps common daisy but mine is a bit different i want you to right click new folder folder and i want you to type at your server name so your server could be called survivor roleplay but my server i don't have one so we're going to call this at bill tut it doesn't matter if it's spelt scuffly like that and inside of here we want to make a new folder called add-ons now some of you guys might be saying well where's the keys folder matthew well if this mod is private for your server you don't actually need to make a keys folder because you only want your server to be using these billboards but for some of you guys that might be making some billboards for other people to use then you should create a keys folder because that's where your buy key is going to be going now you need to head over to add-on builder click these three dots for the destination directory go down to your root path find out the mod that you've just made so where is mine we'll never know it's there add-ons okay pack and we're gonna wait for this to binarize now once it says build successful you want to click ok head over to your steam and you want to launch daisy now unfortunately in this tutorial I'm not going to be teaching you guys how to set up Daisy offline mode and that's where we're going to be seeing this model. Now if you do want to learn how to set up Daisy offline mode I do have a video on it but there also is a written tutorial on GitHub of the authors wrote. Now if you have a server then obviously you're not going to be checking it out in Daisy offline mode so you'll be able to spawn it in there with your admin tools but make sure that your path is set up here correctly go to mods click add local mod daisy and then add your mod folder select folder load that I'm gonna unload this because we don't need it and then we're gonna click play so now I'm inside of daisy and I'm gonna press Y with my daisy offline mode I'm gonna search up my tag so ML and as you can see the billboard is here we're gonna click ground and we have voila the beautiful billboard so now I've exited Daisy, I want to head back over to Daisy Tools. So make sure to open up Daisy Tools. Now we're going to actually sign the mod so we can put the keys on the server so randomers aren't going to be joining with multiple mods. And you're not going to get the dreaded error. I'll have a card up on the screen right now. You've probably seen this error before and you've probably cried over it because you don't know how to fix it. Well, this is one of the ways that you prevent that error from popping up. So we're going to go to DLC Utils and we're going to click N. And in this N, I'm going to create a new key called Mr. Bill. I'm going to click Create Key. OK. I'm going to make sure that this path is correct. So Mr. Bill, OK. We're going to click Add a Source Directory and we're going to go to our Daisy root. Find the folder, so Bill Tut. Click on Add-ons. OK. 
one file showed up so everything that is a PBO it will show up here I'm gonna click process files yes and as you can see we've got one file successfully signed now if you want your private key you need to copy this path head over to your folder paste it in there and in here you will find your buy key so this is where you're gonna put it in your service so you copy it, mr. bill buy key you'd find your daisy server root you'd head over to keys and you'd paste it in there like so that's good now your server is ready if you want to know how to actually publish this mod then I do have a video on the publisher make sure to go and check that out please leave a like and a subscription down below if this tutorial did help you out thanks for watching join my discord follow my twitch and I'll see you guys next time adios amigos Thank you.